hello lovelies welcome back to our channel if you're new here welcome to our channel the lovely Aurora is here with me today hello and so we wanted to show you guys um, something new that I am trying out um, I joined a group on Facebook called buy nothing junk journal slash supplies and they do like racks, which is a random act of kindness where they send packages out. And also, um, and you don't have to send anything in return. Sorry, I didn't finish that definition. And then uh, we do trades. So I am trading with a woman named Maria and I'll have her YouTube linked in the description and in the title. She is sending us some journals a bookmark and a tag and in exchange I am sending her an envelope of junk journals like papers and stuff which is already sealed so I'm not going to show you guys that that's just it's just papers and stuff that I had in my stash um, and I'm also sending her this swap I created this swap um, back in the summer and I didn't get a chance to send it to my partner, so um, I am trading her this for the journals, which I will do a video of the journals once I get them. She had an Etsy shop where she was making stuff and selling it on Etsy, so I'm super excited to see these journals because they look really nice and like she did a good job on them. So let's dig right into this though. So the first thing is I want to show you guys is this swap was a memory decks card swap and this is what I created um, it was a fruit swap so I went with pomegranates and I made this little paper um, thing to hold the memory decks card and then this is the memory decks card that I created oh my goodness and then um, I actually have some new stickers that I created to put on my stuff and this curio this code actually just comes back to my YouTube channel so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on the back of the memory decks card this is like really thin sticker paper because I wanted to be able to make these a bunch of these and it not break the bank so it takes a minute to get them get it to separate from the back um this is not being nice to me this is being a pain in the butt a bookie tool maybe mm, no um here this is what we'll do I'm trying to get it to No, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. Let me get my actual blade. I have a green one that slices through these, but I'm not sure where I put it. So we're going to just slightly get it with the fis Fisker blade. Hopefully I don't accidentally cut it in half. And I, I haven't had a problem since this one. Like the other ones, it was fairly easy to pull them apart, but this one is not. Yeah, I sliced right through it. Okay. And I'm still not getting it. There it goes. Yeah, so uh, more than likely what I'll do is just um, cover them with some uh, clear, like clear sheet to um, get them to pull apart easier, like make the top better. So there we go. So now that's on the back of my memory disk card. <laughs> Bought it for five minutes. So um, this one's really cool because it has a pocket and inside the pocket is tags. tags. You want to show them the tags? Right, so Go ahead. This one is the one that you saw. Go over this way a bit. Oh, that? here. Come, come here. Come right here. <clears throat> there you go. That way you're not leaving a shadow. So these are the different tags. Sparkly stuff on the top. Uh, embroidery floss. And this. What are those again? Pomegranates. Pomegranates. Okay, so that's the tags. So um, I just took white tags and added the ephemera to the front, and then I I, I uh, inked them with red ink 
which I really like. So those are nice. Super awesome. So we're going to just put that back in here. I'm struggling. Why are you yawning? So um, then I made a notepad. This has like four different designs in it. So for her to use. And there's quite a bit there. So and then I just m knocked it down with a um, binder clip. So they're not stuck together so she can take them apart if she wants or just use them like this. She can just flip this up right on it and then, you know, stretch it out to pull it out. So that one's pretty interesting. Um, here is some embellishments I made. These were paper, mm. paper strip embellishments I made. They look like bracelets. They're not. They're paper. They're just paper strips. Strips were. Alrighty. So, paper strip embellishments I created with the paper pieces that I had left over from the swamp. And there. She yeah. add some gems. So I had one paper that was blue, so I added some blue papers to it. Um, and just, just to have a little bit of extra color in that. So these are really nice. I like how these came out. And she really loves them because I showed her pictures of all of this before um, she decided she wanted it. So she's like super ecstatic about getting these. She really loves these. So, and these are really nice. You can use these as uh, like bookmarks. You can put them in your journals. You can use them on swaps. So it's a nice variety. Um, this one's really cool. This is just a set of mini folders. Can I show off? To put like die cuts in. Go ahead. Or whatever you want, like small sentiments, things like that. So I think there's two each. Yeah, there's two of each. And then, and then these two go together. So I made two of each one. That way she can use it um, for organization or to send little goodies or whatever she like to use them for. So I love these. I have like a temp. Um, so sometimes when I get stuff, if it's just blank stuff, I keep it as templates so I can use it in other stuff. And that's one of these. So I have one that is a template that I just use to make them. So that's fun. I really want to show off that. Okay. It's, looks so cool. What are What is that? What? These? Yeah. Bottle cap charms. So these are bottle cap charms that I created with um, resin epo epoxy stickers and then um, images. Here, you want to show those up close. You can put them in your hand bio. Here, let me let me layer out the pick pick these up and put them in your hand and put them up to the camera, and I'll lay out the ephemera while you do that. Then you can talk about the ephemera. Okay? Yeah. What? How do you think? Okay, that works. You show it to him. Like this. Like this. Just like that. Perfect. So there's blue and red. We have blue inside and red inside the others. So this one has pomegranates and then that one's like blue flowers. And they're very pretty. The, the back is just blank. Right? Right. There's nothing on the back of them. It's just the actual. Charm. They look like little plates, right? They kind of do. Right. So here's all the ephemera. So some of this is what she used on her swap. Swap, and you can see the dolls are familiar. So all of this ephemera was um. I downloaded uh, packs from Creative Fabrica, and then I plopped them, the images into my Cricut. I put uh, on the contrast to make the white layer, and then I cut it with my Cricut. So that's how I got this ephemera. And then these I just punched with my one inch circle punch because they are the same size as these right here. Can I show off 
May have some that stuff. Yeah, I have a set that I kept, Aurora. That's Thank for you. Because... It's for you. I just gotta remember where I put it. The yeah. Those are really cute. I made a set to keep, so. And I do I still have the downloads, so I can always just cut some more out for you. So um I'm sending her some of the ephemera. Which I, I try to do that with my swaps is send a little bit of ephemera and stuff so uh, people have variety. And, um, you know, some of the people I send stuff to, they just send the whole thing of ephemera in their swaps as an extra. Some people use it. So, um, I mean, honestly, it's entirely up to the person that's receiving it, what they want to do with it. But uh, so I put that together for her. Um, but that's it for this video. That's everything that's going over to her. And like I said, I'll have her information in the title and the description so you guys can go check out her channel. She has, she currently has one video because she just started doing YouTube, um, but I told her we were going to tag her so you guys could find her. And um, we will be showing her journals and the stuff that I get from her trade when we get it. So look forward to that, but that's everything. You got any last things you want to mention? So, when I saw the first thing, the dolls were really cute. They reminded me of my own dolls, and they're adorable, and I love them. I like the Frimma. It's, when I first saw it, it looked like a Valentine swap until Mom pulled it out and said it was a fruit swap. And it's really beautiful. I love it. She, Mom did a good crafty thing, and I really love it. All right. Well, that's all we got. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.